Hi guys and welcome to Chev Worth 21 on Time to Shine Homestead. And my tips for you today guys are anything you got in the ground if you're having cold weather like we're having, like we're getting 7, 8 degrees, cold, damp rain, beets, carrots, turn up, pull them out of the ground because they're just going to rot in the ground guys. Even if they're not that big they'll still be good eating. I'm I'm been harvesting quite a bit of stuff. I'm harvesting small zucchinis today as well. There's lots more common so I might as well just take some small ones. I mean, that's a, sometimes you don't have a choice, guys. Like if I can get to October, that's great. I still do have a lot of vegetables coming, but the weather is not good, my friends. It's not good at all. Right. This jungle is getting hard to walk and laugh out loud. I'm just grabbing anything that's so wet that it needs to be grabbed. Because I got rot everywhere now because of the weather. I am leaving some in to get really big, but things ain't too, looking too promising, guys, unfortunately. There's a nice squash. I'll take that one as well. That's all I'm going to pick today, guys. Ooh. There's some other kind of squash here we can pick. I'll take that one as well because they don't get any bigger. Well, there's a couple on here, right? There's one. I thought they were watermelon. They're not. There's some kind of squash. I don't even know how they got in here. Oh, there's a zucchini on here. That's perfect size. You want some small ones today, eh? See, look, yep. that's already getting soft. Time to pick them, eh? Like, the weather's so bad, guys. It's like, it's going to be a high of 16 with sun today, which I guess is okay. We can make it to October. See, there's all kinds of stuff in there. I'm just going to give them a couple days. That's my tip, guys. Bad weather. It's better to pick them small than to let them rot. Because any of this stuff that was sitting right in the dirt was going to rot. So I had to pick it. I had no choice. But if you got stuff that's sitting in the grass, guys, it should be all right. Like, I'll probably get another 25 zucchinis out of here. Another 15 squash, at least. There's still carrots and stuff left, but I, I picked turnip today, beets, a few cucumbers, carrots, the last of the rhubarb. But anyways, that's my tip today, guys. Another tip today is um, I want you to stay safe and uh, much love and God bless. So we'll get this uh, weigh in done here. We're at 655 pounds. So we're with the sunflower heads in first. Not the last of them. I still have five or six sunflowers around, but these are dried and cured. Some of mine are black and some of them white. I have two different kinds, guys. And the weight is, take it in there, it's at, it's at five pound, guys. Clear as day, five pounds for the sunflowers heads. Okay. And then we'll do the, the last of the rhubarb, guys, right now. Might as well pick. I, I was surprised there's any left after the jungle over top of it. It still grew back even after the seeds. And guys, that's at only up. You can see clear as day. It's at four pounds, not five. Four pounds there on the rhubarb. You didn't even write rhubarb down here, did you? Yeah, I did. Where? Where? Where'd you write it? I don't see it. Okay, so four pounds on the rhubarb, which is not too bad, eh? No. So Heinz 57 here, there's cucumbers in here. And we're weighing in some of these, I don't know what kind of squash they are. We're at four pounds there now. We're at five pounds there now. These are the small zucchini she wanted me to pick because they're laying in the mud. Oh, just give it. Oh, we're almost at 10 pounds. So right, that is, what's that there, babe? Eight pounds. Yeah. I'm not going to cheat at all, not even by the pound, guys. I would nope. never do that. So for the Heinz 57 there, eight pounds. And this bowl we already weighed doesn't even weigh a pound. But if you guys are worried, I will take a pound off, off the weight when, when I weigh this stuff in. There's uh, 
some nice beets in here, giant beets in here. There's some small turnip in here and some big short carrots. But they're gonna rot. You can see that they're gonna rot. I had no choice but to take them. So we'll see what we got here. We got five pounds, so I'll take a pound off for the weight. So there's that'd be four pounds on the beets, turnip, and carrots. All right, I have to be fair, guys. That's what I'm all about. I've lost hundreds of pounds this year from being too fair. That's just the way I am. I'm a fair person. I'll weigh this squash in. This is a perfect size one for me to eat. And wow, it's at, wow, five pounds. Hey, five pounds. Clear yep. as day, five pounds on the squash. Hands are filthy. I'm really depressed, guys, too, today. My mom's not doing very well. She's taking a turn for the worst, but there's nothing I can do. All I can do is show love. For those out there that are suffering, I feel so bad for you guys. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world that's horrible. I wish I could do something to help, but I can't. All I can do is show you love and respect, and I'll continue to support all of you. So we'll add all this weight into 655, guys. So add eight and five and five and four and four, right? Yep. Oh no, there's two eight. Sorry, eight pounds on the on the Heinz 57. I'm sorry about that. Right? Yep. So we'll, we'll, add, we'll add all this up. Five and five is ten. Two eight is sixteen. Right? And two fours is eight. Right? Yep. So add that up. Eight and six is 14. Because if you play crib, you know eight and seven is 15. Carry the one. 34 pounds, guys, for today. Total weight for King Aquarius. And we'll add that 34 pounds to 655. Five and four is nine. Five and three is eight. So total weight for Team Aquarius this year for, for my backyard guys is so far is 689 pounds. I want to say again, please stay safe, love and respect each other, help each other, and I love you all and have a great day.